Hello beautiful Leo friends. Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. So we're going to take at a look at a relationship to determine whether it is a fling or the real thing. And again, this is a general reading. If this doesn't resonate, please look at your moon rising and Venus signs. Um, also, when we do a general reading, if you get your subscribe in there, you'll be part of the energetic group, okay? Chaos and conflict is the overall energy right now, Leo, in a connection that you have. We have going the distance. You're willing to fight for it. So even though there's chaos and conflict, you definitely want this to work out. Your person wants this to work out. And the fate. So timing is going to come into play with this relationship reading. All right. So that's the overall energy. Now I'm just going to put thoughts, three cards for thoughts, three cards for feelings, three cards for intentions, and three cards for their actions. So... Okay, Leo, let's take a look and see what we have here. We look at the person's thoughts in the past, the recent past, as a Hierophant card. They felt that you were their, their future. This is a traditional relationship card. It's a card that is about marriage, traditional ways of living, following sort of the old-fashioned principles of relationship. The person, your person, feels very much that you are a rock star. They feel, you know, when they think of you, they see you as quite glorious. So, Leo, what we have is a Hierophant card in the thoughts that they've had in the recent past. So, the Hierophant card is traditional thinking. It's all about having a traditional relationship with the responsibilities, with the uh, requirements, with the commitment to the relationship. You're, now, your person feels as though you are the one for them the Three of Wands, their ship has come in. You are delightful to them. They think of you as exciting, interesting, romantic. They think of you as, you know, this very Aries person who's full of passion for life. They see you as beautiful inside and out. They have this energy about you that's Aquarius energy. And so this Aquarius energy for you, Leo, indicates that they think that you're spiritually beautiful inside and out. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius. They also uh, think that this relationship needs to have some growth. When we get the Page of Cups, we get a teeny tiny little offer. And as you can see right now, this person's offer towards you, Leo, is very small. When we get the Page of Cups twice, okay? It, it's like when pigs fly. Pages don't get married. Pages don't fulfill obligations that are of adult caliber. Pages are learners. They're young. So there may be an age difference between you and your person. But what we're seeing here is that their ideas about what they can do, their thoughts about you, are beautiful you know they think that they would like to have those things with you the rubber meets the road in that it does not look like they are um mature enough really for lack of a better way of saying it page of cups here they're making you a little offer you know they think of you as someone that they have a crush on that's the best way to say it they find you absolutely exquisite and beautiful leo they feel as though you could be their best friend they want to run around barefoot with you in starry nights they also are looking to you leo for security so if there is an age difference in the relationship relationship, these might be something, Leo, that you're willing to accept or may not. It depends. Depends on what you want. But it does look like there's an age difference. When we look at their thoughts about you, they feel as you're the strong one. They feel as though you're the person who will do the work, that make the plan. To You're the person who knows what needs to be done and they're trusting you. 
The issue with this is, oh wow, three major arcanas, four major arcanas, Leo energy, here you are in your reading, Leo. So we see this person viewing um, the situation as being one in which they can manifest if they give you enough love and affection and nurturing. Um, but the Tower card says that this is a faulty foundation. That the foundation for the relationship is not based on pure love. There are needs mixed in. This person wants a fathery sort of nurturing energy around them, Leo, to sort of parent them, to take care of them. Now, I'm saying that because their viewpoint of themselves is that they're the Page of Cups. And we see the page here. We see the Page of Cups here, we see it here, we see the Page of Swords here. You know, there's that's a lot of page energy. So, they do want to manifest you. They do think that if they give you a lot of sort of home-cooked meals and, you know, they do special things for you, they, they basically share their life with you, they feel that they can manifest you. But again, in terms of what you want, I don't really think that you want to necessarily take care of somebody. If you do, more power to you. You have found your person. Okay. So let's look and see what the energy is. The Two of Wands is how they view um, you. They see you as having your options open. You have not made a commitment. Oh, look at this, though. They see the Mommy card here. So they see, you know, they're the Queen and King of Pentacles are both here. But again, there's no serious of offer of love at this time. Page of Swords says, Leo, that they are watching you on the internet. And the very romantic Knight of Cups is, you know, they do feel love for you. These are their feelings. The second row is feelings. So they feel that they'd like to nurture. They feel very much like they want to watch you. And they do feel um, a cup of love for you. It's not the nights come in and out. They're not permanent fixtures in your life. So they see you in very romantic terms. Judgment card says that in their heart space that you have not really, you, you like them, page of wands, you know, you give them attention. Um, they feel as though you like to be seen out with them. But right now, they feel as though in their heart space that you're not going to choose them. So they feel as though, though they want a victory with you, though you like to sort of have them, you know, you like to be seen with this person. Um, they don't really necessarily think that they have what it takes to meet you in relationship. When we look at the King of Swords energy, your person is in their heart space trying to stay cool, calm, collected. You know, they're feeling as though their offer is too small. They feel as though you're not so interested. And they feel as though you want stability and pages don't give stability. So again, we have Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and we have Page of Swords. So again, your viewpoint of them is a, impacting their feelings about you. Let's see what their intentions are. Their intentions are to hang out. Their intentions are to wait to see what the future brings with the Wheel of Fortune. Let destiny take the wheel, the hand of the wheel. They're staying very calm. Their intention is to not really speak about their emotions. And we see that their intention is very much about eat, drink, be merry, have fun. Be delighted, you know, enjoy yourself, and live in the moment. Um, you know, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. When we look at the Magician card, we have the Magician card also. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. So what I'm seeing for you, Leo, is that you're not together currently, it appears, for those with whom it resonates. Not all cards will resonate with each one of you. Some of these cards will mean something for you, and some of them won't. We also get that, you know, they feel very much like you're in this energy, Leo. 
that you're going to cut them out of your life if they don't bring value to the table. It does show that they love you. They feel as though you love them. But their intention is to be loving. Their intention is to be in relationship. So they're very, very, it's very interesting that you really hold the keys to this. You hold the keys as to defining what you want, how you're going to express it. We're also going to clarify, of course, the chaos and conflict card. So let's see. But right now we're on the Three of Cups. So right now they feel as though you friend zoned them. They feel they lose sleep over the situation, Leo, remorse, regret. They move too slowly. They didn't give enough. They expected too much from you. So they feel in their intentions, you know, they're just going to try to sort of win you back uh, by being slow and steady and not doing anything really more to upset you. Not that you're upset. I just think that you don't take them seriously. <laughs> All right. So their actions. Knight of so uh, The Nine of Swords is to worry. Well, that's not an action in the way we typically think of it. Leo, there you are in the reading. They feel as though you're, you know, again, we get this King of Swords energy. It's here and here. What we're seeing is that though you find though you find them to be an exquisite lover, that you like the passion, Leo. They also think that you're very aloof with them, okay? When we look at the Seven of Wands energy, their intention is to defend themselves against something that they did that upset you. Well, the something that they did was they acted flaky because they were immature. It looks as though they kept texting other people. If they kept their options open, the Ten of Swords, they connected with other people. You didn't trust them. You didn't feel as though they were as strong as you are. You didn't feel as though they have the strength in this relationship, and you won't feel that way. So when we look at their actions, I haven't really seen any actions. The actions cards are very limp, very weak very uh, six of wands they want a victory but they're not taking the action they think that to have a victory with you they need to be very compelling to be very seductive this is a card of control and manipulation and so they do plan on controlling you and manipulating you with passion all right with a lot of texts with attention um, and then we also see that they want to manipulate you with a sense of security or promising security. So their action is going to be to make all kinds of promises that they probably can't keep. Ugh, ouch, okay. Which then causes chaos and conflict. So let's see what the Island Time Wellness has about this chaos and conflict card, Leo. Let's see what it means. Let's see. Seduction, yep, flirting, dating, hooking up. Temptation, third-party interference causes all kinds of conflict for you. You know, you want to go the distance, you know, you definitely do, but this person does. But they're all about kisses, affection, falling in love. You know, they just, they're looking for the passion. They're looking for you to take care of them instead of for it to be equal give and take. We see a soul connection, agreement, a soul contract. So it does show that Spirit has brought the fates in to test you with this person, to test your resolve in terms of whether you're willing to settle for passion or whether you're willing to hold out for a serious relationship. Island Time Wellness is saying heartbroken, you know, that deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost and grieving and mourning. That is what the fates hold if you decide that this person's affection, their actions, I would just say that this is a fling. It's not the real thing. Go for it. If you want a fling, there's nothing wrong with that, Leo. We're all adults in the room. We all make our own choices, but I would definitely say this is a fling. Cindy, you love. Bye-bye, Leo. Take care. It's not your responsibility. It's yours to heal the hurt. It's yours to look out for yourself. But, you know, we have this sort of feminine, if you're a feminine energy, 
we tend to be held accountable for whether a relationship works or not. And it's not fair, it's not correct, and it's just really important. Aries, you have a very good sense of self-esteem and you don't want to be juggled. This person's actions towards you means, with the two of coins, that there will always be this other person. You've already had this person with a third party situation. Is that the three of that player energy is here. So, but we really see this person is still juggling coins. They're all about them having fun in the moment. They're all about getting whatever they can get from people. And their action, you know, their action is they're very cold when they're evaluating a lover. And let's see why they're cold. They want to be in love. We see the Queen of Cups twice. This person always juggles too. Wow, that's unusual. This person never ever allows themselves to be in a relationship where there is balance. They always, no matter how much they love somebody, because we have this you know, beautiful Queen of Cups, we have it twice, no matter how much they love somebody, they always, the Two of Coins doubles. We have the Libra Queen with the Justice card. They are always weighing and balancing and measuring what they can get, what they can take. So, you know, we put labels on these things, but, you know, I'm not going to label it. You label it however you want. But this person is all about the happiness, the joy, eat, drink, and be merry. Tomorrow we shall die. Right? Isn't that the old saying? They watch you on social media. This person wants to have fun with you, but they're all about the fun and not about the run. You know, they don't want to run a race. They don't want to run a marathon. They don't want to run a marathon with anybody. They want to come in and quickly, very page. This person's very mature. A lot of page activity here, a lot of it. And um, what we see is that they're, they like the passion. They don't want any responsibility. They do want a beautiful home, though. So if you own a home and they want to put they want to put their name on the deed, I would be very cautious. For many of you, I see this as a person who is um, someone who's looking for more than benefits. You know, we talk about friends with benefits. This person would never marry unless they were going to attain something that would give them some sort of security financially. Six of Cups shows that you will always be a soulmate. They will always be fond of you. They will always have an, an open door policy with you. So even when they're dating somebody else, even if they were engaged to somebody else, if you said, hey, let's get together and make love all night long, this person would then say, hey, come on over. So Aries, I don't like the reading for you from the standpoint that this person is... Um, doesn't seem to have the moral fabric or fortitude that you need in relationship. What I get here is a person who's an opportunist, a person who is going to, and I feel as though you know this, in your heart of hearts you know this, it's why you left them behind, it's why you put them behind bars, it's why you basically outcast them from your life. And what we see is that this person wants you to take a leap of faith. They want you to trust them. They want you to release all your old feelings. They want you to release your old feelings about them as not being really, you know, legitimate. Let it go, let it go, let it go. I don't see you letting it go. I don't see any reason for you to let go what you know about this person. I think Maya Angelou said, if somebody tells you what they, who they are, believe them. And this person did. They see you as the exquisite lady of the forest. They see you as beautiful. They see you as down to earth. You're exquisite to them. And we have the speaker of truth. Aries, you're blunt. You don't mess around. You get right to the point. You're the sharp end of the spear. You're the warrior spirit, Aries warrior spirit and everything 
and you are the magician. You're coming in with the right elements of using your intellect and using your, your earthiness, your understanding of how things work. So I see you in a beautiful place. You're emanating goodwill, warmth, love, everything that you want. I feel as though you will manifest the love without this person in the picture. So I think for you, this has been a fling that was very painful. I feel as though you and this person will always have this incredible chemistry, but I don't think that you will trust this person ever again. Uh, you might go to bed with them, you might have fun with them, you might allow yourself the pleasures of the flesh, shall we, shall we say, but I, I just don't see you letting your guard down again. Hope you found this helpful, Aries. Leave some comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.